Okay, so I want to talk about multiplicative inverses of square matrices. Now, a multiplicative inverse only exists for a square matrix and not all square matrices. Um, first of all, what is a multiplicative inverse? Um, the product of a matrix and its multiplicative inverse should be the identity matrix. So, if you recall this from back in the day, multiplicative inverses, like if I take 2 and I multiply it by 1 half, Anything times its reciprocal is 1. So we call these multiplicative inverses. 3 halves and 2 thirds are multiplicative inverses, right? Because their product is 1. So the same thing with um, multiplicative inverses of, of matrices. It's just that obviously it's not just a number, it's a matrix. But when I multiply a matrix by its multiplicative inverse, I should get the identity matrix, which is like 1's down the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So um, this is the notation of an inverse matrix. You've seen it, you know, in algebra for other inverses. A times A inverse. This reads A inverse is equal to the identity matrix, N being the dimensions. It has to be square matrices, okay? So, um, obviously, the identity matrix can only be an identity matrix for a square matrix. If it's a, you know, a 3 by 3 identity matrix, this is I3, 2 by 2, I2, and so on and so forth. Um, we'll talk more about determinants, but in order for a matrix to have an inverse, the determinant of the matrix must be equal to uh, must not be equal to zero. We'll talk about this soon uh, again, but I'm going to put it on these notes so that you have it there. The determinant of a matrix must be equal to zero or not equal to zero in order for the matrix to have an inverse. Okay. Um, now let's uh, look at first determining if I have um, inverses. So are these two matrices inverses? So I would know if you know two numbers are uh, multiplicative inverses if their product is 1. So I'm going to check and see if these two are inverses. Are they inverses of each other? If so, then AB should be the identity matrix. BA should be the identity matrix. And because they're 3 by 3s, it should be the identity matrix I3. Now it has to work in both directions. So hopefully you guys remember how to multiply matrices. So I'm going to go A, B. So this is a 3 by 3, and this is a 3 by 3. So I can do the product, and the, um, the product will be a 3 by 3. So element here in row 1, column 1, row 1, column 1. So negative 2 times 1, so negative 2 plus 2 plus 1. Row 1, column 2 is 0 plus 1 minus 1. So row 1, column 3, negative 2 plus 3 minus 1. Row 2, column 1, row 2, column 1, negative 5, plus 4, plus 1. This is looking good. Row 2, column 2, 0, plus 2, minus 1. Looking good. Row 2, column 3, negative 5, plus 6, minus 1. That looks good, too. Row 3, column 1, 3, minus 2, minus 1. Row 3, column 2, uh, 0, minus 1, plus 1. Row 3, column 3, 3 minus 3, oh, that looks good, plus 1. So um, AB is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, um, yeah, 0, 0, 1. So this is the identity matrix, I3, right, 3 by 3, identity matrix. So therefore, in this direction, it looks good. But let me check in the other direction, okay? So it has to be also BA. So let me actually copy and paste this so I have it again. So now we're going to check the direction BA. It has to also be the identity matrix, I3, because they're 3 by 3 matrices. So let's do BA. Um, I personally like to write my first matrix first and my second matrix second, um, so that because that's what I, you know, that's how I multiply matrices. So I'm going to rewrite this so that it's organized, so that it's easier for me to do the product. B and A, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 5, 2, negative 1, 3, negative 1, 1. So I want to do B times A now. So now, again, this is a 3 by 3, a 3 by 3. This is going to be a 3 by 3. Row 1, column 1, right? So row 1 and matrix B, column 1 and matrix A. That's why I like to write it in the proper order to do my product. It makes it easier for me. 
So row 1, column 1. So I have negative 2 plus 0 uh, plus 3. Row 1, column 2, 1 plus 0 minus 1. Row 1, column 3, <clears throat> negative 1 plus 0 plus 1. Row 2, column 1, negative 4 minus 5. Plus 9, that looks good. Row 2, column 2, 2 plus 2 minus 3. Uh, row 2, column 3, um, negative 2 minus 1 plus 3, that looks good. Row 3, column 1, uh, 2 minus 5 plus 3, that looks good. Row, two, uh, row 3, column 2, negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. Row 3, column 3, 1 minus 1 plus 1. Let's see if that works. So B, A should be, let's see, B, A. When this is 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, let me double check this four minus, yeah, 0, 1, 0, <coughs> excuse me, 0, <coughs> 0, 1, perfect, which is the identity matrix I3, <coughs> and it's exactly what I want. So therefore, since B, A is equal to, the identity matrix I3 and AB is the identity matrix, then yes, they are inverses of each other.